real quick on Hyperion. Um, last time I, I shared with you that we would be, uh, that they're, they're crafting a new job description for a, a division manager that will run Hyperion and all, it kind of a, more of a technical person. Um, actually, today I finally got the, the word from Ryan Jackson, a Mayor Bass's public works guy. They've, they've retained a recruiting company uh, finally, they took a long time, and that I will be part of the, uh, I and, and, and the city will be one of four people to finalize the job description and sit on the interview panel. So the city, uh, the city along with a representative from the NRDC, someone from the LA Waterkeeper office, and someone from Hill the Bay. So those are the other three folks that will be on the, the panel uh, along with the city uh, of El Segundo. So moving along and now we're, we're getting close to sending out the the job description and the notice to to begin recruiting um candidates and then real quick on hyperion have they sent the communication process flow over to you have not can you please bug yes. them about that please it's my 10th time asking. i know um aqmd has issued three more notices of violation for odor impacts uh, on April 22nd, 24th, and 26th. So that may have been a cause for some emails and messages to be sent out. They are cur a AQMD is currently investigating also why Hyperion's fence line air monitoring system was shut down for a few hours on the 26th. So again, more mal malfunctions. And then also uh, they're reviewing what actually caused the digester leak between April 15th and the 16th. Uh, Hyperion's telling us that the leak was the result of equipment component, component failure, which again was due to lack of maintenance. So we're still getting reports like that. Um, and then finally, Hyperion reports that it will perform maintenance activities that will require a temporary shutdown of the odor scrubbers. Actually today, they, they, they shut those down for one hour and then tomorrow for an additional hour. Uh, the work is expected to have potential odor impacts. Precautions will be taken to minimize inconvenience and impacts and um, you know, during this, this maintenance period. And then also they continue recovery activities at the plant through the end of this month and cleaning of primary D battery tanks will continue through June 6th. So a lot still going on over Hyperion and I'll continue to make these these updates at every council meeting, and we, we continue to put all this information on our website. Daryl, you know what happened the last few days? It's just upticked again in odor. Just and, the and last few days? Yeah. Um, Elias, have you heard anything? So I, I contacted both AQMD and Hyperion, and Hyperion told me there was nothing going on. AQMD folks, they told me that, uh, frankly, their Hyperion operators are getting more relaxed. They don't shut the door. They don't. They don't really, uh, uh, you know, try to do a, a good management uh, practice. And those are the cause. They they checked, but there was no failure of any equipment. It's just that they feel like the Hyperion folks, as as time time goes forward, they. They get relaxed. They don't shut the the doors like they should, and 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 that's that's how uh, the AQMD told me uh, why there were there were some issues over past few days. There were complaints. We have a number of complaints that they they told us, um, but they did not. The, the number of complaints did not rise for for issuing an NOV, but they, they did investigate. There was no, no failure of any equipment or system. It's just that they found doors to be open and that kind of thing. And to Carol's point, the communication plan is critical. We're going to the summer. People are going to be outdoors. Prevailing winds are onshore after 12 to 1 every single day. It's going to be a brutal summer. We need to work really diligently with them to control the odor and get the word out to our people because it's going to be rough, I think. And it's, and it's and the, the communication process flow that I am looking for encompasses LA County Health. I want to know when they're contacting LA County Health, why they're, when, what triggers them to count, contact LA County Health, 
when LA County Health contacts us, what is that communication process flow? So if there's ever more, any more time where raw sewage is going into the ocean, people are being notified in a timely manner. And if there's an air issue with it, we need to understand what that communication protocol is, sure. which encompasses LA County Health. Thanks, Lawrence. Thanks for being on top of it, too. I know it's in addition to your everyday job. We are adjourned.